Hi guys, it's Ruthie with the Popo Backyard Farm. It's exercise time. Okay guys, I gotta talk to you about my exercising. I really got discouraged because I lost only like 10 pounds. My sister lost like 50, which I really am so proud of her. But I said, you know, here I am on my machine. I jumped on the scale and last I remember, which was I think yesterday morning, I was like 214. And it's, it's hard when you're busy all the time, guys, because it gets crazy. I don't know if any of you guys are in the same boat as I am. And then I had some dental work done, which made, can't keep going here, which made my mouth a little sore. But anyway, I guess with that, I'll say this. What my goal is right now is to get on my exercise machine like three times a day to drink a ton of water and to see if I can kind of give this weight a push to get down to a healthy level. And not only that, but I want to not have any flab. I don't know if I got flab there, but I don't want to be flabby. I'm 58, I'll be 59 in October. So I want to keep getting healthier so that I can be healthy. And so I am working out. Some things are genetics, but my goal isn't to be on the exercise machine for hours and hours. What I want to do is catch five minutes here and five minutes there to start, to continue to do yard work, drink more water, try to eat more salads and stuff. Because of my dental work, I had to um, eat like breads and stuff because it hurt my mouth to eat. I had like acid reflux really bad and it just affected my teeth a lot, which is only teeth, <laughs> you know? But, uh, I mean, I want my teeth to look nice, but I want to be godly more than anything. So, so all I can do is brush and do the best you can and hope for the best. But I guess that's the point of this video is to say, wherever you are at, even if it's five minutes a day, let's get started together. On, let's see what we can get down. Like I, this year, I only lost 10 pounds. I was so discouraged by that, but you know what? I might lose more of it this year, which I want to. I think it's important to set goals and to get your weight down, but don't give up, I think is the main thing. I used to work for Weight Watchers. I used to work in the office. At that time, I only ever weighed probably 100 pounds soaking wet ever, but they hired me for the office. And so I learned a lot there. Plus, I also had um, worked with other weight loss things through uh, church work and different things. But anyway, I probably have to lose, I would say, on at least 80 pounds, if not more, when I start feeling like I don't, you know, like, don't look healthy or it's not healthy, um, then I'll probably stop. I'm thinking right around 125 pounds, but... Depending, I might have to keep on more, or might have to keep on less. Like they say, uh, big butt and <laughs> tight faced or skinny butt and wrinkled face. But I might be more wrinkly or I might not have any wrinkles. I believe in God that I don't have any wrinkles. That God just helps me through that stage. But either way, it's all about being healthy and taking good care of your body. So, as you can tell, I'm working out. I'm on this machine, which my sister gave me. I've got a wonderful sister. I've got a lot of sisters, but this sister always gives me stuff, so she always gives me things. Not that she has to give me anything, because I always tell her that, but it is a blessing that she's been a huge blessing to me, so pray for her. That God blesses her, so this is the one that lost the 50 pounds, so I'm so proud of her. But anyway, with that, guys, you know, start working out, getting yourself in shape, and remember, there goes my... You too can be a backyard farm. God bless.